So it's been almost two years since our last update and a lot has happened since then. Earth's been around for about four and a half billion years, although it's mostly molten magma for about a half a billion years. This is the first point in the four and a half billion year history of Earth that it has been possible. The, the, the sun will um, expand and it will, it will overheat the Earth. Eventually, uh, the sun will expand and destroy all life. Um, there's, there are many troubles in the world, of course, and we, th these are important and we need to solve them. But we also need things that make us ex excited to be alive, that make us glad to wake up in the morning. Life can't just be about solving problems. They have to be things that inspire you, that, that move your heart, that make you glad to be, when you wake up in the morning, you're excited about the future. I, I'm pretty optimistic by nature, but there's some chance there's some chance that window will not be open for long. Now, I'm, I'm naturally an optimist, so I, I think the, the probability of that is low, but it is not zero. And I have great respect for anyone who makes it to orbit. That is a hard thing. It's insanely difficult. I have huge respect for anyone who's, who's gotten a, a rock to orbit. It's, it's, it's so hard. Uh, the, but the, the critical thing that we need to focus on, I think, is the fastest path to a self-sustaining city on Mars. But the, the critical threshold I think for Mars is to uh, have a city that is self-sustaining. The critical breakthrough that's necessary is a rapidly reusable orbital rocket. This is, a, this is basically the holy grail uh, space. The, the holy grail breakthrough that's needed is a, a rapid and completely reusable rocket system. So it's actually harder to dock with the space station than it is to do orbital refilling. And it's, it's actually way harder to dock with the space station than to dock with yourself. Three and a half tons of, oxy of oxygen for every one ton of fuel. Three and a half tons of oxygen for every one ton of fuel. Around a 7,500 uh, ton force uh, rocket, um, which is about twice the thrust of a Saturn V. So it's more than twice the thrust of a Saturn V, which was quite, that was, that's the largest rocket ever to get to orbit. Starship. Um, it's um, about 150, about, about 50 meters, so um, 165 feet or so. Um, but but in, in terms of its, of its usefulness, it'll be, be able to do about 150 tons with full reusability. I think we should really do our very best to become a multi-planet species and to extend consciousness beyond Earth. And we should do it now. We need to seize the opportunity and do it as quickly as possible. Let's make this real! Yeah. Cool.